Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. A transitional housing for homeless veterans is underway as a nonprofit organization makes a huge step in its community. The Veterans Tiny Home Village program is said to be the first of its kind in the northern area of Oneida County, New York. Northwoods Veterans Homestead, NVH, got assistance from Ponce North America to clear trees from three and a half acres for the tiny home village, local news network Tomahawk Leader reported. NVH's mission is to help homeless veterans regain self-sufficiency by meeting basic needs. They help with shelter, food, health and wellness. Right now, we are currently working with a contractor to give us a cost estimate of the community center itself, NVH Vice President Carla Ruskanen stated. We are up to 11 tiny homes that people have pledged, which is amazing. We will have the specs, and either they can build it themselves, or they can donate the money toward it, and we'll have a contractor build it. The layout will be the same, but the cosmetics can be a little different. We want it to be natural looking, we don't want it to be over the top, we're shooting for a very calm and serene setting. The organization's goal is to have the village open by the end of 2026. It will have 16 homes and a community center for veterans in need. Everything will be free of charge to the veterans staying at the village. The community will be drug and alcohol free as well. Those in the program will earn their keep in a way. They do their share by doing chores around the property, cooking meals, doing yard work and even cleaning. Down the line, there's even expected to be a garden that will need people to tend to it. Technically, a tiny home is any house measuring under 400 square feet. Many tiny homes are built on trailers so they can be towed anywhere, and some are converted from old school buses or vans. Each state has its own rules about tiny homes, but, generally, they are not subject to the same taxes as regular homes. However, Alaska, Iowa, Louisiana, North Dakota, New Jersey, New York, Wisconsin, and West Virginia have made tiny homes illegal as permanent dwellings. Normally, it takes an 18 to 24 month time period for a veteran to go through the program before completing it and going out to live on their own. Some people may take less time than others, of course. The new tiny home initiative is modeled after a similar program, Veterans Outreach of Wisconsin Village in Racine. The village in Racine has reported a success rate of nearly 80%. Ruskanen hopes that this type of success can be achieved in other areas. It will be person-centric, she said. We'll decide with their input, during intake what it is they need to get them to where they want to be. Instead of us providing services, we're coordinating services, because all the services are here, it's just connecting them now and bringing them there and getting them those supports that need to be self-sufficient again.